right, so Brandon Royval first fought for the title late in 2023. He was game against Alessandre Pantoja, but he was not the better man. He talked a lot about patience going into that fight, and that has not been a staple of the career of Brandon Royval. At one point, I called him the most electric man in MMA. He is as offensive a fighter as we have in this sport. That is his bread and butter. He's got to get back to that here tonight. If it, and, if you, and if he can beat this guy, a lot of people believe the UFC might turn him around quickly and get him right back into a title fight. Easier said than done, though, in terms of passing this particular challenge against this opponent here tonight. There's only one king of Rio de Janeiro, and you are looking at him, Jose Aldo, making the walk here for yet another big, high-profile UFC fight. One, if not the greatest featherweight of all time, is Jose Aldo. Not often do I get starstruck, but to watch Aldo make the walk in Rio is truly a one-of-a-lifetime experience. I'm glad I got to do it. He is a star of the highest order. Aldo's title run was something to behold. It was so special. Oh, yeah. Every time you watched him, you knew that the fight was in that any moment, and you knew that you were watching one of the most skilled fighters across the board. And the reason, the primary reason most believe he is the best featherweight of all time, seven successful defenses, to your point, in that first reign as the UFC featherweight. Or kill the tape for this, our main event of the evening. We send it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, Brandon Rodgers. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the former UFC featherweight champion of the world and the member of the UFC Hall of Fame, Jose. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Well, most of his foes have needed crutches after the fight. Here is Jose Aldo Jr. getting set for yet another UFC appearance. Going to be interesting to see what the strategy is tonight. If he goes to the leg kicks early, he can grapple with the best of them. Jose Aldo Jr. back on the big stage here. All right, we will see how Jose Aldo Jr. chooses to proceed, and it looks as though he's going to work off of that jab and low leg kick here early in this. I mean, ever since Jose Aldo started boxing with the Brazilian Marines, his hands have just gotten so much better. But he is known for the outside leg kick. It's his calling card, and if you're Jose Aldo, you want to fight behind that. Off. And now he's tasked with trying to find that shot again. Oh, 
much, and now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay strong. Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. kicks are really starting to pile up in this round as he continues to beat up that leg of his opponent. He's in trouble. He's hurt fast. Oh! Oh, nice right hand. Under a minute to go in what has been a wild round one. Well, now you see some visible damage on the side underneath the elbow. He told us he was going to invest in the body, and he hasn't missed a whole lot tonight. You didn't expect him to do it this effectively. He's done a fantastic job of following the game plan. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Right. Round two next. Take a look back at some of the replays from that last one. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Ready to fight. Ready. Go. All right, round two. All right, next round is now on the I thought there was pretty good back. How about the accuracy to land right there? His opponent's wobble check. He's hurt bad. He cannot take another shot like that. Leg kick. Well, he blocks the shot there. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit, but this guy's defense has been sharp tonight. Cat and mouse. You gotta play cat and mouse. Hit and don't get hit. He does a great job of that. Slips the shot. Oh, knee strike right to the body. Swing and a miss with that punch by Alder. Side leg kick. Oh! Still plenty of time to go here, round two. Oh! Well, he has really picked up the pace here in round two, much more aggressive than we saw in round one, and now starting to find himself in the pocket. Nice straight right lance. Lands a beautiful leg kick. Be first, be first. Effective use of the jab there by Roy Ball. Oh, nice straight left. Inside leg kick is there by Aldo. But he needs to check one of these kicks. He has to discourage him from throwing this kick over and over again. Roy Ball's visibly bruised on the right calf now. Don't want to take too many more of those. Oh, back and forth we go. One minute. Continues to stay busy and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Robo's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. Oh, left.
left hook to the head, it's blocked. Slips. Oh. All right, that's the end of round number two. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And Great now, cut. he's just targeting Great. that cut on the nose. Third round underway. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the reference of adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're trained to do, and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Wood Corner was able to relay that message to their fighter better in between rounds. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Royval's left calf does not look good. You see the welt, you see the obvious signs of bruising. Don't want to take too many more of those. Strong defense here as the hook to the head is blocked. Oh, he lands a hook. Oh, that was beautiful. Well, he is at his kickboxing best tonight. Another nice, good series of kicks by him there. I mean, the kicks are coming in bunches. Normally, it's the hands. Tonight, he's going kick after kick after kick. Oh, and they separate. Under three minutes to go. That is a huge shot there, DC. I'm not sure how he stayed upright. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, to stay standing shows and talk to your toughness. Aldo going for the takedown, but unable to land. So he's landed a few similar uppercuts already, DC. You gotta think he goes back to it. I am almost certain he's gonna go and try to find another one of those. But expect him to really sit down and try to make one really count and try to end this fight. Pretty good jab there by Roy Ball. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. I know a lot of you like that, but he has got to figure out. Two strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. His leg kick is there. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stunned by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded well. He hasn't gotten himself oh, 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 oh. So he showed tremendous toughness, but for his opponent, he has to be seeing stars in his eyes because he understands with this type of performance, he puts Dana White on notice, he puts Sean Shelby on notice, he puts the fans on notice. Everybody's excited about him because they know we have an exciting knockout finisher right in the midst of our presence. You ready to fight? Ready. Fourth round, fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds.
right now. Ooh. Well, you didn't see a lot of the body work from him in the earlier rounds, but he's certainly getting after it here. Big shot to the body connects there. We'll see if he can follow it up. Left hook to the hips. Well, body language is a great indicator, and that is one confident man right there after a big knockdown in the previous round. He did everything right to secure that knockdown. Perfect setup with the hands. Got the knockdown. Let's see if he can go find the shot that's going to finish the fight. Let's work, guys. Come on. Just out of range with the big right hand. Well, I'm not... Bad. Back to his feet. Still plenty of time with which to work here, round four. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. It does not get much better than that. Oh, huge left. Combinations here. Well, that is a new shade of purple right now. I'm not sure he's gonna be able to stand up much longer. I mean, it's swollen, it's bruised, it's all beat up. He takes one or two more, this fight's gonna be stopped. Yeah! He's wobbling. Big, big strikes continue to land. Well, make no mistake about it, he is getting two paychecks tonight as he gets the big TKO victory. Wow. That's unbelievable. It, it was crazy to watch his finishing instincts on display as he got that massive victory. It, it was amazing, John. It was amazing. All right, the official decision is inside the octagon. That's where we find Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, ten seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by TKO, Jose Aldo Jr. All right, so there it is, Jose out of your winner tonight by TKO, and this really dovetails with everything he said all week. He felt like he was on a different level and proved as much tonight. He said he's never felt better. Yeah. And that's a scary proposition for the division. If Jose Aldo is feeling better today, but this is a guy that understands how to finish a fight. He got his opponent hurt, referee stepped in, saved his opponent in my opinion, and Jose wins again by TKO.